Okay, now this is about the uh, use of the multimeter. Now, a multimeter is pretty much anything that has more than one use. Uh, multimeters almost all do voltage, AC and DC, and ohms. Uh, some do amps, microamps, so on like this. Uh, this one pretty much does most things I would need to do. This is a Fluke 16. You don't make this anymore. Uh, the replacement for it is a Fluke 116, which is an RMS meter. It just means it's a little more accurate. But let's, let's say we wanted to use it in ohms. Now, ohms is going to be resistance. That's telling me how much resistance there is in something. It's telling me if there's continuity in it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. I've turned it all the way over to that goofball uh, doohickey right there, which is the ohms uh, symbol. Now, it's come out OL. Everything comes out OL anymore if there's no connection. And it says meg ohms. Now, if I was to take the probes like this and put them together, I'm going to read whatever resistance is in those probes. So I've got about one-tenth of one ohm there. Now, if I had something else I wanted to take resistance of, I would go here. Uh, this thing, I'm going to take resistance of this. It is 16.7 ohms. That's resistance to flow that's all that is uh, got a 75 watt light bulb here and I'm going to take it across the cord and I read 15.2 uh, ohms now if I wanted to read volts with this thing I would go like this and I put this into a 120 volt outlet now notice what I just did it's showing 121.9 it's still in ohms this meter is smart enough to not blow itself up uh, if you take something that you're asking the resistance of and you put a voltage to it Older meters would break. They'd be history. They'd blow fuses. Usually the fuses didn't save them, but there was a fuse. And uh, you would burn up the meter. These new meters, it does not happen. Uh, it just goes to volts. Kind of says, hey, stupid. Uh, we need to use voltage here, so I'm going to go to volts, regardless of what uh, you put me in. So, interesting thing about these is they will... Uh, unless you hit them real hard with some very high voltages, and I think this one's good for 600, I think, yeah, it's 600 volts. Um, if you go past 600, uh, you'll probably damage it. Now let's try another resistance. We're still at home, so let's try another little resistance. Try the resistance of yourself. Now you see what I'm doing here? I've got these probes going across me, so the electricity's passing through my body. Now I'm showing about... 3 million ohms. That's 2.8 and M for million. So that's about the resistance. Now if I hold on this a little tighter and a little more to it, notice how much it goes down. The resistance of my body is changing uh, as I make better connection. Now the one thing about these ohm meters, when you are using these things and you want to test before you start, you always short okay that tells you that the meter is in the right position and it is working this is also an auto ranging ohm meter it means it will range to whatever resistance it is I don't do not have to set it for any specific uh, resistance range as with some of the other meters the uh, the manual range it will just automatically do it and I think this is the best type to use so that's ohms. I'm doing resistance with ohms, and at least with this fluke, uh, you can't do my old trick that I always seem to manage to do, is leave it in ohms and then go to check volts, which I toasted many meters that way.
Okay, now, if you want, there, there are a few other things you can do while you're in this position here. If you hit select, now you're going to have a um, diode tester. Now, that's not something we use a whole lot in this industry, but it is available. Now we're doing microfarads. Now, doing microfarads, I'm going to go ahead and use a little capacitor. Now, this one is 7.5 microfarads. Now, that's a, a number we use to determine the strength of the capacitor. Now, I'm in the capacitor tester because I've got that funny U, which is micro, that goofball backwards U thing, and it's F for ferrets. So I take my probes and I put it across here like this, and it gives me 7.28 microfarads. Now, that's within 10% of uh, the rated for this thing, so it's fine. Next one I do, this one's microamps. Now microamps are a little bit different. Microamps has to be read across the probes. That means I have to put any microamp load between these two probes. And I'll demonstrate how this would be used. Okay, here we're set up at a gas furnace, and we're going to check flame rod microamps. These furnaces prove their flame, prove that the flame is actually there by flame rectification. So the ignition control applies an alternating current voltage to the flame rod, and the flame rod's right in there, and the flame rod sticks in the flame. And if I put an alternating current into it, it will rectify or turn it into direct current. If the board sees direct current, then it will continue running. If it doesn't see direct current, then it will shut the burner down. And these things usually have to have about half of a microamp. They usually run about two and a half to three. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check this thing out and see what the flame rod microamps are on this thing. Okay, the inducer is running. I pulled this off. I put one probe there and one right there on the uh, flame rod. And we're going to wait. Okay, it's, the burner has come on. And we're reading 2.7 to 2.8 microamps. That should be plenty. Now if I remove this, of course there's no flame sense. You can see there's no microamps. But I have put this meter in series. Now it's going to try again. So I'm going to stick my little probe up there again. And I'll try it one more time. Make sure your contact is real good. Press these things in tight and uh, you'll get a proper reading. See, it's got that funny little U, backwards U thing, that in indicates micro and that is amps. That thing right above on the meter, if you can see that, there's a straight horizontal line and three dots underneath. That means direct current. Okay. When you're placing it in here, this is just a little push-on connector, put it in like that, uh, put it to where it's jammed someplace, and you can put your other probe in on the flame rod, and you'll read your flame. Okay, that's use of the uh, multimeter with microamps on the gas furnace. Okay, here's our same multimeter. I'm going to set this thing into volts. 
Now that's showing volts and it's showing, remember the DC? I'm going to get that a little closer so you can see that. Uh, if you see that line with three dots underneath it, that means it is direct current. Now if I hit select again, it's going to go to the squiggle and the squiggle means alternating current. That's the current that's in your home. Uh, let me go back to microamps so you can see that thing a little better. Uh, you notice that's also DC. It's a DC microamps. With that backwards funny U. Okay, now if I wanted to check voltage, now you notice this has come up as AC. If I wanted to check DC, I just simply hit the select and it'll go to DC. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check an AC outlet. I did this before and it was in the ohms range and it still worked. But here I'm putting it in the, the voltage and I read 121.8. That's the house voltage that's coming in here. Now here I'm going to check, I'm in volts, and let's say I'm going to check DC. Now I'm on AC on the volts. Now it's going to show zero. It's not in the right position. Make sure you have this thing in the correct uh, range. It is going to be 9.63 volts. And you can see the DC. Now notice there's a negative in front of that. That's because I put this on with a polarity backwards. The red one's a positive and it's on the negative side. If I switch it around, it'll show a positive voltage. So that's the usage of the multimeter. It's probably the most versatile meter we have. You can use it for just about anything you need to use it for, including, of course, capacitors, very high resistances, very low resistances, and voltages up to about 600. And that is the modern auto-ranging multimeter.